good morning guys good afternoon good evening depending on where you are watching us from this is across nigeria so the human right crusader and convener of revolution now movement omoyele sowere has spoken for the first time since his arrest in a lagos hotel by operative of the department of state service on saturday morning it's not a new news um it has been a trending news in nigeria we all know what happened so the activists who urge nigerians to pour out to the street to protest against bad governance in the country was picked up and detained so as to scuttle the plan march in 21 states of the federation but further angered by the arrest of their leader, members of the movement mobilized aggrieved individuals and took to the streets of major cities despite heavy security presence um, aimed at stopping them. So during a visit by members of the Take It Back movement to the DSS facility, he is being held, Soere, who had refused to eat meals given to him all along by secret police thank nigerians and the international community for their support assuring everyone that he was in good health and has so far been treated fairly in detention he said i would like to assure everyone that i am being treated well and in very good health I am pleased that the peaceful revolution and protest went ahead. However, knowledge of the sheer number of innocent Nigerians being arrested for exercising their civil rights bothers me. So that was um, that statement was made by him. He also uh, said that I join order in demanding for the immediate and unconditional release of all those arrested by the police on Monday. So confirming, confirming that Sowere was in high spirit and happy that the planned protest went ahead despite his detention in DSS cell, Rachel Onamusi, uh, PRC Director of Media and Communication of the Movement, gave a detailed account of the meeting in a statement on Monday evening. So the statement said at about 6 p.m., um, that was on Monday, yesterday, the 5th of August 2019. So today is the 6th of August 2019. Today is Tuesday. So a uh, member of the Take It Back movement, we are allowed to visit um, with our, our convener, Omo Yelesovere, for the first time since his arm abduction in the early hours last Saturday, August the 3rd. We met him in high spirit, on move, by the event of the last few days. The officers allowed us to present him with food as Sowere had refused all meals since his capture. We are also happy to confirm that Take It Back member will be allowed to bring him food daily as per his wish. So he has refused, um, you know, um, he refused to eat uh, the food that is given to him by to DSS so um, they have agreed okay um, DSS have agreed uh, that his members will be bringing him food daily okay that's what um, he wants so the freedom fighter was quick to ask about the movement and supporters as he is aware that there will be a lot of worry about his well-being Indeed, the silver lining in today's unrest lies in the knowledge that truly you cannot stop an idea whose time has come. So the Take It Back movement will continue to agitate for his release, as well as that of com comrades whose voices this oppressive regime has tried to silence. So this visit was a small win, but we will not rest until we are free and free indeed so that was made by um, the media uh, publicity secretary uh, take it back 
movement okay so so far so good that is the story um so far that Sowere is being treated fairly by um the dss and um, they have also agreed well it, it, it's a good development okay um it's a good development at least they have agreed okay um that his members should be giving him food every day so as he refuses to eat the food from dss facility but meanwhile that same monday the presidency okay um taunted the convener of the revolution now saying that attempt to incite citizens into a revolution against their own democratic right and interests have failed so the presidency in a statement in abuja signed by the senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity malam gabashehu said the president mohammed ubari and the government were humbled by the show of support by nigerians not to participate in the alleged plot to remove a democratically elected government so according to the statement, um, today millions of Nigerians who are about their businesses, um, work, seeking employment, attending school and college, and caring for their families. By doing so, the millions defended our country's hard-won democratic right by ignoring calls on social media to join a phantom revolution. So there were a few hundred persons today who for their own reason decided to act upon the demand of a group calling itself Global Coalition for Security and Democracy in Nigeria, which went on social media to ask every day Nigerians should overthrow the government they only elected some six months ago. So the president is humbled by the support, not for himself or the governing party, but for the democratic value of modern day Nigeria through the wisdom of those millions of citizens who preferred democracy who preferred democracy and decided not to undermine an elected government today joining those millions of nigerians was not only the president and um, governing party at federal level but um, many state government from the opposition trade union civil society organizations, media, and NGOs with focus on freedom of speech. All have rightly on side, all have rightly united in protecting Nigeria's young democracy and the right of all to elect leaders and law makers. So the Global Coalition for Security and Democracy in Nigeria's attempt to incite citizens into revolution against their own democratic right and interest has failed as um, we will all attempt to take away from the people their hard-won right and freedom of choice who lead the country so uh, that statement was released by the presidency after um, yesterday's um, revolution and protest okay that was um, the 5th of august 2019 so that is the story I have for you this morning. And don't forget um, for you to be updated, just like I promised you. I'm going to give you every details, and I, I did. Every details and footage of um, uh, this revolution now protest, okay, which I did. So for you not to miss out, if this is your first time, uh, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell icon so you get notified whenever story arising from this um, revolution now comes all right all right um see you guys in another video when i have update on what is happening and going on across nigeria um, both politically um, celebrities entertainment and so all right so keep it with us by making sure you subscribe that is one of the way you're going to support um the channel it's actually free so just subscribe okay all right guys i will see you in another video